Hi, this is Hari Shankar. I am uh, that is expert technical interviewer and as well as I am the talent lead at Guvi. So it's been more than 16-17 years of experience in various industries like teaching, training, human resource, talent acquisition, interviewing, and so on. So it's a it's a it's about my profession. I started as a programmer and I was in teaching. And my expertise starts with C programming and Unix programming, and in, it it went to uh, the various technologies and platforms, right? Yeah. Hi, this is Venkat, and uh, I'm part of uh, Guvi's team. So where uh, uh, I started initially as a programmer, where my career started with generally a C programming, where that is my initial kickstart of a learning uh, during the time where uh, it, it it encourages me to le- learn more about programming. So that time, that is a very initial start. From there, it started to Java developer Angular, and then now I'm part of a technical team and SME Guvi. where i deal up of multiple technologies and tools of uh, training phases and enabling the career flow with gubi uh, why can't we have a discussion with courses okay so at gubi we'll see of a courses like uh, full stack ui ux devops automation testing with python and java data science in uh, data engineering machine learning and other rest of courses as well so with this where each and every phases of a journey journey will start off from the developing of a, i mean Uh, fixing of syllabus and from there to uh, to the end level of the flow so in this duration of time the learners has to put their effort on learning and scaling up with the and the next by next stage of levels working on the projects working on the programming working on code kata working on web kata so this is how the each and every phases will go on with the flow in this time of duration the courses each and every course will take place of 3 months and 5 months depends on vice versa weekday and weekend in this cases say if a if a person studying in 3 months of a course in that time a person will undergo of a multiple uh, level of qu- practice say initial code kata and next level web kata and next level uh, front end development of html css bootstrap javascript and next level react and next level database which is comes to back end and next node js so this is how the things go and this is how the person will start the entire journey of the learning in duration of 3 months in full stack and the same applicable for devops ui ux such as and automation testing and let's talk about the projects how we do in the guvi and let's have a word with hari here so very simple that that is what is the expectation that is why we need to take this course the reason behind that is we can go with a career career platform or or it may be like career guidance or things like that so if you go like this so we can uh, clearly that is go with the placement objective so that is the objective why we need to take the course so in terms of if you are uh, going for the projects uh, what, what to say that uh, it means that we can uh, go like uh, building up good projects like at least 2 to 3 projects in your uh, uh, courses and what the thing is you can easily explore with mini micro and multiple micro uh, mini projects over there and if you do like this your uh, exploration of uh, tech stack will be getting uh, improved here is comes a very interesting part of learning throughout the career so which is like each and every learner in gubi will undergo one life pro- live uh, hands on projects during the course sessions which happens during the time either in a 3 months or in a 5 months phase something like of a live projects say uh, it let let me pick an a simple example where the person will start with a simple uh, html design from their next level adding a css to it adding a javascript to it to make it an action next level it will go with the same html css javascript to replicate it in the react and same with that thing people will implement the database define of a schema and then node js and things will bring into the system the same if you are uh, seen other courses like ui ux or devops say let me pick a devops here So if you see a DevOps, initially it start with Windows uh, basics operating systems such as Linux and all the other stuffs, and then next it goes with tools like AWS and other cloud platforms which we have, and next it goes with such popular tools which we use in industry and day to day life where the developer and the DevOps engineers use such as Terraform, Ansible, and other tools. And if you go with UI UX, the same live hands on how to de- replicate the existing design. First it will start in that manner. The reason the people will know how to do the design. which is let's take an example of a sugi or even the people replicate the guvi website T- same font same color same things initial start from there it will start with a new new level of projects the complexity will, will be added on and from there each and every courses will be in different set of projects different set of 
uh, work examples will be given based on the scenarios. And with that, GUVI is having a very strict of uh, uh, placement eligibility criteria that to emphasize and uh, correct the learners in terms of placement and opportunities. So, which will start with practice of code cutter again, and then web cutter, and then daily assignments, daily assessments, which comes after each module, and again, Another with database set of assignments, full stack and front end and back end assignments, and then complete whole set of a project where people will get involved with the things and they will do. So this will be the entire journey of a developer with full stack. The same applicable for DevOps and UI UX. DevOps they'll do as a cloud related task, and UI UX they do as a portfolio related task. And if you see as a automation testing, they will do as a automation testing uh, projects like regression testing, uh, unit testing projects, system testing projects, and they will take as a real time e-commerce website and with that they will implement the test case scenarios. So at the end of productive, they will have a bulk of projects for each for the portfolio. So now here I just wanted to hear the same thing from the portfolio perspective from Hari. Yeah. So what the uh, interview perspective uh, demands. So it, it is very simple that if you have the content, then you can explore very easily in an interview. So how we can explore is if you have a good content, how the good content will come the projects. So if you have a good projects in your pipeline or it may be like in your portfolio. So that gives immense pleasure to attend an interview and as well as go with the positive sign. Am I right? Yeah. So you can go like this, that is, uh, go with end-to-end -end application that is explaining about the end-to-end -end nook and corner of all the complete workflow. And if you're supposed to go with the workflow and with the outcome of the project and with, uh, what to say, how the tech, tech stack has been involved to uh, meet out the requirement and uh, that is just explain about the users, user privileges, so on. So if you occupy these kind of things while explaining about your projects in an interview, for that is, uh, if you're supposed to occupy for three to four projects, you can easily, uh, uh, the, what to say, that is, you, you can easily occupy at least 15 minutes in an interview. That is, that is a most major point that where it gives a positive sign for the interviewer and as well as yourself, and it will builds a very positive conversation on the same. And yeah, so our uh, placement process has been taken like this. So once the placement uh, that is phase, the, the learner is supposed to get into the placement placement phase. So we started with, uh, that is, getting into uh, the profile with the profile correction or profile building towards this LinkedIn, GitHub and resume building, everything. After that, we have very strong, that is, in terms of uh, building a portfolio website to explore their all contents there. So after that, we have a mock interview process. The mock interview has been conducted through the industry experts and we supposed to rate in that uh, different requirements as well as well with the parameters of the different tech stacks. So based on the rating, so we supposed to, uh, that is, uh, segregate as per the caliber uh, to provide the best opportunities to meet out the best placements. Thank you. Thank you.